Yes siree, Bob. Welcome back, even if your name isn't Bob, to That Guitar Guy. I'm Frank Spear. Today we're going to jump right in, as we always do, to our friendly neighborhood A chord. <laughs> Now we've been looking at these basic chords that we all use in rock and roll, country, pop, and we've been looking at how to manipulate them into other chords, other popular chords, and then how to play a few licks off of them. So let's get right into this today. We So let's get right into this today. We almost certainly know this A chord. Never play it like this. No one does. We rock and roll it right here like this. We're just leaving out this highest note, although we can put it in, and we'll see what chord that is a little bit later. So there's your A major chord. Here's your A major bar chord. Now what about our A minor chord? Looks like the E chord. Just jump it up. Or down, depending on how you're looking at it. So it's this same A chord. All we're doing here is getting the flatted third in. That's the third. We're getting this C note in. So in this A chord, we've got the C sharp as our third, but because it's minor, and in, to get a minor chord, all you do is flat the third, lower the note. There's our C. C sharp, C blurry. C sharp, C blurry, C. All right, here we go. So here's our A. We're just gonna do this and grab the other two remaining notes of the A chord. So we get this. Here's our A. A minor. Even write a tune like that. Just get the low A in there. All right, so we've got A major, A minor. I'm letting that high E ring out, which is the fifth of the chord. And you can even put the low E in along with your low A, along with your high E. Nice, big, fat, full chord needs to go on a diet, it's so fat. All right, what's next? How about A7, A7, or dominant seven, right? We get a flat seven in order to get a seventh chord. So A major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flat it. What note is that? That is your G note. That is your damn G note. All right, so we're gonna add that, that note into our A chord. Well, there's an open G right there. So let's just do this. Take this note out and leave it, take the A note out and leave it as the open G and we get this. Listen to the difference between the A major chord and the A seventh chord. Now you got the A major to the A minor to the A seven. What about the A major seventh? That is leaving the normal seventh of the major scale in the chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. G sharp, right? So here's A. A, G sharp, right there. So again, taking the standard A chord, removing this A note, replacing it with this G sharp. Oh man, do I love this chord. Also grab that chord here. 
Now, if you want to know how to play that, look at the last video we did on the G chord. It's the same thing, just moved up two frets. It's a movable chord. Beautiful chord. A major seven. All right, how about A6? Well, we know this from these videos already. If you've been watching them, to get a six chord, you take the sixth note of the major scale and stick it into the chord, wrench it in there, shove it in there, bash it in there, take a hammer and just crash that note right into the chord. So here's an A major. One, two, three, four, five, six, F sharp. Here's the bar chord. There's an F sharp. You get the same, you get a nine by putting the pinky up here. Six, nine, six, nine. Move it over here and you get a seven. Six, seven, six, seven. Nine. You get a lot of this in the G chord video, so check that out. How do we play an A six chord down here? Well, we're looking to get that F sharp. It's right here. So all we have to do is make sure we finger that note when we're playing the chord. We can even grab it down here in the bass and add it in. Oh, sweet mama. Or we could finger that like this. Grab the bass note with this finger and then fret these with this finger. So you get... And then you grab that F sharp here, so you get this. And then you're muting this A, although it wouldn't matter if you did because it's an A chord. The sus chords that we've been looking at, the rock and roll sus chords. Well, we know the bar chord version is the same no matter what chord you're playing. So here we have A, sus four. The fourth note in A is D. And the sus means we're suspending the third. Replacing it with the fourth. Goodbye, goodbye to the third. Hello, hello to the fourth. Okay, so we're getting that in the chord. Here it is with the third. Then with the fourth. And that with the pinky. I call it the 38 special chord. Now you've also remember you've got your nine by grabbing the high E string here, you're grabbing the B. You've got your six by grabbing the F sharp. You've got your seventh by grabbing this G. Now you've got your sus by grabbing this D. So you've got you got all that to play with when you're songwriting. You can also use all of those notes when you're soloing or creating melodies when you're singing. And we'll get to that in future videos and that's going to be spectrubulent when we do. So you've got your sus4. How do we get it down here? Well, remember, we're grabbing, we're just looking for this D note. Here's A. Where's our closest D note? Right there. Now that's movable. Here's A, here's C, here's D, here's E, here's G, right? So we can just grab this wherever we are. popular in rock. Now what if you grab the next note up? How many times have you heard that? What are we grabbing here? Well, we're grabbing the E, which is just the fifth of the chord or the scale. Grab every note around it. <laughs> 
What about the last chord we're gonna look at today, the sus2 chord? Well, we're gonna get the second note of the major scale into the chord. A major scale. One, two, what is that B? How do we get a B into this chord? Well, we have an open B. So if we're playing our A chord here and we just do this so that we leave the B open, we get sus2 chord, beautiful when it's picked too. Sounds like a survivor anthem. Or every anthem from the 80s. Time is running out for me. You and I. Oh yeah, man, that's a million dollar tune right there. So there are our A chords for today. Now let's play some tricks off them. Let's play some licks off them. We can go really country here or old school rock, 50s rock. You're just playing your A chord here, letting that low A ring. And then we're grabbing that F sharp and then the G. while that low A is ringing out over those notes, right? And we're muting with the palm here, laying it on to get a, rather than a, we're laying our palm down on the strings by the bridge. But you already knew that. Okay, that's one thing you can do cool, reverse it. So many things you can do with it. It's all depending on your rhythm, right? And what I do there, I grab the third of the chord, the C sharp. To the A. To the open A. Here, up here, grabbing the A and the E, which is the fifth of the chord. So it's like a little A chord right there. Play that along with your standard A. So if you're doing possibilities are endless. Okay, so let's try something else here. How about this little trill? I'm just off of that B which is the nine or the second, right? How about just uh, hammering down on that? Hammer down on the B and then hammer down on the F sharp. So. Also up higher. is available to you to mess around with and then try playing those type of things after and then try playing those type of things off different versions of the chord like the A minor what notes can you grab around it that sound great A minor what notes can you grab from around it that sound great to you
add some different bass notes in. Here's my standard A chord. What if I add this B in as a bass note, which is the ninth or the second of the scale? Watch. What if I add the F sharp in? Right, which we know is the sixth. What about the open E, which we know is the fifth? There you go. Beautiful stuff with the A chord. We've learned the A major. We've learned the A minor. We learned the A7. We learned the A minor 7. We've learned the A sus chords. Ah, oh, we've learned a whole bunch. This is That Guitar Guy, Frank Spear. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next Level Up Your Chord video where we look at the E chord.